Hi, my name is Jen Jen. I'm a architect and nature illustrator at this moment, and I'm from Chengdu. I started painting at a very young age. Before this two years, most of my paintings came from happiness. But now it's like completely opposite. After this COVID-19, and uh, with the passing of my mom, I think I had tons of doubts and maybe hatred towards myself because I feel there are lots of promises I didn't fulfill. I think that was the time I feel extremely vulnerable. I had so much fear and uh, doubts about things I'm going to face and uh, that's how I turned into this type of art. I think when I was painting I didn't really like consider anything very consciously. Every time I think it started with a tiny emotion that I detected in my own self and then I would try to grasp it and try to um, figure out what exactly that is and why I felt it that way. This month will be my very first solo exhibition. For this series, um, it's called like Soul Searching. So I have three different parts. So the first one is um, Between the World and Me, the very beginning when we are uh, thrown into this world. So it's um, we being like the black paper and uh, we have different conflictions um, with the world. We see not only the good, um, but also the evil, the darkness. And uh, the second one is um, Dear Self. It's more about myself as um, questions that I ask myself, um, different doubts that I have. And then the third one is a nihilistic anthem. It's about um, after um, confronting all the darkness, all the doubts uh, about ourselves, we finally uh, are able to to come out of those. I think I paint mainly uh, when I have fear or doubts or uncertainties. I think it's a way to get myself out of all of such negativity. And I hope that like, people could also find something about themselves while looking at my art. During this process of painting, I, I tend to ask myself tons of questions, but um, it's also rather a unconscious process. I think it's uh, a process of self-healing. Every time after painting, I could feel much better. I feel maybe it's it's more like a post gift to my mom because I think my mom is one and only close person of my life and I would never consider of losing her at this point of my life so my mom would always say that oh I think it's it would be really great if you put all your art in a gallery for people to see she could feel the theme but she kept asking me like oh what does this mean and what does that mean and every time I would tell her to to separate herself because I can't really you know like I think in Chinese culture people don't express their feelings that explicitly and now before living Chengdu um, for my next phase of my life I think I would love to have an exhibition to showcase all the things that I'm having right now I think through all this um, through the process and uh, self-questioning I just gradually had more strength within myself and I, um, I started to understand that you need to save yourself before saving others or you need to love yourself before loving others. I just feel like maybe I have more strength now to, to, to care more about the people that, that is still around me. I think I definitely continue painting, definitely creating art is the path that I I will definitely continue because I feel I could also bring that same power to other people.
to believe uh, no matter what negativity they are facing, they definitely would have sufficient strength to get themselves out of that. And I think that's very important for, for me.